Hey everyone, welcome to another YouTube painting process video. As always, like and subscribe to support more of my work here. So if you followed my social media recently, you would know that I've been holding a draw this in your style challenge. And what that is, is artists will put up some of their work, their original concepts, and they challenge other people to draw the image that you present in their own way. Now there are still going to be more entries before the February 1st deadline, but I did want to take the time to really talk about something I sort of noticed as people were painting my work. And this is not to blame or give fault to anybody's work. In fact, I am very appreciative of people even trying to tackle some of my work. In the past, I've held these sort of contests somewhere else and there were literally no entries. So the fact that this time around people have taken an interest is a really good sign. Anyways, going back to the issue that I noticed, I firmly understand now that my style is probably very hard to replicate, if not downright impossible. And this is not to say that I am this amazing artist. There is just something that is making it really hard from what I've seen to try to tackle some of my work. It is the way I do the paint strokes. And I've said this in the past, but trying to replicate somebody's paint strokes is like trying to forge somebody's signature except on a much larger scale. Think about it this way. If you've ever tried to copy somebody's signature, and heck, I've done it in the past as a kid, trying to sign off some of my stuff like as if I was my mother, you'll find that no matter how hard you try, there's going to be something that will stand out, that will differ. There's something that just, you can't really put your finger on it there's going to be something and there's a reason why it's called a signature and why it's so hard to forge it's because you cannot replicate every physical and mental attribute of somebody who has that signature down so imagine if you are trying to not just get a few squi uh, squiggles trying to copy that you are trying to copy somebody's actual artwork where there are multitudes of paint strokes and all that jazz going around. Even as you are watching me paint Cynthia from Pokemon, you'll realize that a lot of the stuff I do is going to be unique to what I'm doing. I cannot teach anybody how I go about it because I am moving faster than I am thinking. It's something that is just natural to me. So when I see people try to tackle some of my work, I do not blame anybody who tries to get the similar effects because it is part of the challenge. However, I do understand those who just completely ignore my style as well because there's just no way you can copy it. And again, this is not a way to brag about my work. I can't copy somebody else's work either. Everybody has their own little way of moving. In any given painting, we're talking about thousands of decisions being made subconsciously and consciously. So to think that anybody could just copy somebody else's artwork from all those decisions that they make is basically not possible. And while I do appreciate those who try, I'd rather people try to just ignore some of these brush strokes and movements because I know it's just gonna look unnatural, similar to trying to forge a signature. Remember, an artwork can be made from the mistakes that you make along the way as well. 
especially if you have a similar style like me. I am very abstract with a lot of my portraiture and work in general, so I really try to use anything that is left on the canvas to create textures. So even going through the painting process here, you might see me undoing and just erasing certain things that I put down. Those things will end up being part of the painting and it'll create that really little texture going around here and there that you simply can't replicate again. Even if I try to copy my own artwork, I wouldn't be able to copy perfectly. And this is the lovely thing about art. Every piece is unique and you should cherish your own abilities and movements as you are painting and drawing. This is why whenever I try to teach uh, for my courses or to students personally, I let them know that I am trying my best to keep these things towards the universal fundamentals because I understand that as long as I teach the fundamentals, every artist has their own ways of interpreting them and applying those fundamentals. Whereas if I were to teach the students my way of doing things every single time, step by step, even if they have the exact formula that I give them on how I do my work, they will always come out as somebody worse than me or at least somebody different than me because the way they move will always differ no matter how micromanaged they become. Now to end it off, I do understand there might be exceptions and people have noted exceptions such as the really hyper realistic photo uh, photography styles where people try to copy photographs as much as they could with the softest brush possible. The other exception tends to be people mentioning cartoons and how there's thousands of drawings where people replicate the look and the character models of the cartoon. So to explain the differences here, when it comes to hyperrealism, even photography has differences behind the person with the camera as well as the tools involved, such as, of course, what camera you use. So when you try to copy a photograph, then you still will end up with differences. When it comes to cartoons, cartoons are deliberately simplified and homogenized to the point where it can be replicated. But even then, as somebody who went to animation art school, I understand that a lot of times it's very, very hard to get rid of tendencies and to really copy a studio style. But of course, because the characters and the cartoons are simplified, then there's a possibility that is there is going to be unity between work from different artists. But even then, a lot of times, you might notice differences not just skill level wise, but when it comes to little quirky things here and there with shows like Steven Universe and Looney Tunes, if you're really attentive, you might be able to see those really subtle differences between different artists working on different scenes. Again, very hard to get it perfectly, but cartoons tend to try their best to homogenize the style which requires a lot of training within the studios. Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed the rest of the video here. This piece I really liked. So hope you enjoy and I'll see you next time.